advice I would give to my 10 year old self would be to work on your art, work on your illustration, work on your music, work on your uh, poetry, work on your emceeing, uh, work on making music, uh, work on painting. Just do all that stuff for yourself as long as you possibly can. My name is Vincent Skyers. I am a creative director here at Small Direct Club. I've been with the company now for almost four years. Started as a contractor uh, before I became a full-time uh, team member. A lot of really awesome things that I've seen happen uh, throughout, those, throughout the time. A lot of growth, a lot of really cool things. Stay Curious actually is one of my um, favorite truths uh, along with uh, Better is Better, but we're on Stay Curious, so I'll talk about that. I've always been an inquisitive person, just the nature of, of, of myself, and I think being curious and inquisitive is a really good bridge uh, between a passion for some sh something and like an actuality, like actualizing something, right? So learning new things, getting better at new things, realizing that you don't know this thing as much as you thought you knew it, and kind of going down the line and, and all that drives that is curiosity. I've always wanted to continue on the education path that was, that's been laid out before me from my mom and my aunt and my uncle. It's like these are people that, are, that, that were educators and so I've always wanted to be an educator. Starting as an intern at a company through a creative director here, but this is only the midpoint in my journey, right? I, I want to be a professor at some point in my life, and so getting to Professor Skyers means there's a lot more scaffolded, official, form, formal learning that needs to be done. Some of the principles that inform my value system um, that I learned from Jamaica that I brought here to the U.S. definitely, you know, family values, family matters, right? It's really important to be able to have a close-knit, whether it's your biological or not, right, family, it could be friends as well, a close-knit group of people that could just overfill your cup with love and honesty and truth and sometimes the hard truth you need to, you need to hear it, right? Uh, that's really, really important. I think finding peace is very important. Like, I cannot I cannot say how many times I've referenced Jamaica as my, my center point in you know, things are going crazy around me, it's a tumultuous time, etc. You know, you, you're not in control, but I still have the memory of the feeling of sand between my toes and being on the beach and, you know, being able to have that, that, that place that I can kind of, you know, go to uh, is, is really, really important. I always tell people to find the, find those moments in between, those spaces to like center yourself. It's really, really, really important no matter how crazy things are. Those elements of, of, of living and thinking have definitely informed my value system. I think the people who contributed to um, the inspiration that drives my values, a learner and, and being curious and inquisitive, it has to start first with my mom and my aunt. And my uncle, uh, who helped raise me as well. Yeah, I, give, I give them a lot of credit because they were educators in Geneva, um, but they also aspired for, uh, uh, or to higher education, higher learning. And I saw my mom when she came uh, uh, to the US, she had to go back to school. Because the, the different levels of education aren't recognized globally like how they're recognized now. So my mom and my aunt, they both had their whole levels um, and their equivalent of master's degrees. When they came to the U.S., they, they had to basically get those equivalents again to teach. Just to see that, you know, you always have to shore up, um, you know, your educational qualifications, I think, has is, 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 is been very important, obviously, in the, the field of rapid side visual communications. It's really important because the tools that we use to communicate to, 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 to mass changes, right? So you have to kind of be on top of that. And then my wife, uh, Melinda Costin Skyers, she took my name. She's an educator as well. She has two masters and she's now going for a PhD. One story that I can recall that really highlights uh, like who I am as a person has to be a story about a performance. I was a member of a live hip hop group for about 10 years, a little over 10 years. And so before my, my friends and I decided to form a group, we are just like freestyling and banging on tables in the lunchroom. And all of that ended up with us formalizing a group and going to our first performance. I remember the first performance, it was yesterday, because I was terrified. <laughs> I'm in the back, not really in, in the light. My friends are up front. This is before I became one of the MCs, by the way. I'm just kind of providing the, the, the vocal bass, which is the, the beatboxing. So I'm in the back beatboxing, and someone recorded that video. And I remember going back and watching that video and realizing, I don't want to be in the back beatboxing. I want to be up front with these guys running. And so I thank God for the person who had the camcorder and recorded it and see, hey, I don't want to be that person. I want to be this person. That person's having a lot more fun. I try to instill the growth mindset in the people that I lead a small direct club but also the people that I've led in the past by communicating a couple of core things. You have a unique voice to contribute to the conversation, to the solution, to the problem solving. 
you know, we talk about bringing our true selves to work. You can only bring your, your true self to work if you feel safe. Creating an environment where uh, sharing thought and being yourself, you know, that safety uh, is really, really important. And then also, you know, challenging team members to say, hey, if you don't know this, then learn about it. When we had our summer of social unrest where the country was on fire, literally, um, uh, I sent an email to Cheryl uh, and I was a little hesitant initially. I was like, you know what? Something's happening. I know it's bothering me. I'm pretty sure it's bothering other people. And I'm happy with her response. Her response was, hey Vince, you're spot on. We're all feeling this. The executive team actually has been talking about how we could uh, deal with some of these external challenges, uh, but bleeding into the workplace because we're all human, we're all feeling what's happening in the country. Small Drive Club is a place where you can bring your total self, who recognize, respect, and value who you are, cultural background, all the things that are important. And so we have the IDB Council, which is really awesome. We're creating de uh, devices to help bridge the gap between the cultures, right? So we can bring our authentic selves to work, which I think is really important because you don't you don't lose yourself when you enter the doors of a corporation. You still who you are, right? And that's informed by a tremendous amounts of, in, uh, of inputs. I think there are a couple of things that people can do to help contribute to a more open, uh, diverse work environment, and it's to check your biases. I know that might be difficult if you don't know what your biases are, right? Uh, but there are opportunities. You know, we all have people that we can confide in and have those safe conversations, right? So I would say, you know, find someone. I, I'm really big on, on on just like reaching out to someone that you want to learn from and say, hey, can we have a coffee? What would I say to myself 10 years from now? How's that second master's coming? How's that PhD coming? I'd also say, I hope you're spending a lot of time with the family. I hope you're still pushing forward with your educational uh, goals. Uh, I hope you've published a couple of books uh, with your wife. It all evolves around family, entrepreneurship, and still continual uh, learning. So I hope you do all those things. Smile to my club.